Welcome to your daily dose of caffeine. This is Smell the Coffee on a beautiful Saturday morning. And you're joined by Diana Master and Glenora Shapura. How are you doing, girl? I'm doing very well. It's a beautiful mm. Saturday morning, as mm. you mentioned. Um, I'm ready to know to be out and about. And I'm also ready for my bed as well. <laughs> same, oh, girl. Same moods. The bed has been calling. Ooh. It's been oh, especially calling. Especially with the weather. You know how it's been? How it's been cloudy. Ooh. And yeah, no, that imagine that weather. And you have yourself like an Amarula hot chocolate. Oof. This girl plucked me with that Amarula stuff. And now I'm just like, whoa, You're girl. I know nice things. Why leave the house when you are comfortable? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Why exactly. leave the You have house? everything you need in your house. I saw a meme that said, I'd be in my house like I'm not allowed to leave. And that's me. It's like... Is someone holding you hostage? Yeah, it's me. I'm holding myself it's hostage. It's me myself. I don't want to leave. Why would I want to leave? I have everything I need at home. Exactly. Everything. Food. Entertainment. My bed. Peace. Somebody posted, come on. Stop staying at home and and um, and watching Netflix. Netflix can't be everything. It's like, no, it's not just Netflix. I have Netflix, HBO, Showmax, Hulu, <laughs> Hulu. Disney Plus. I have everything. everything. To be fair, I have everything. I have Apple TV. I have everything. Netflix. I have Amazon. Showmax. I have Amazon. Showmax. I'm just like, why you even leave have YouTube? The house? I even have YouTube, guys. So why would you want to leave? Why leave? leave? Like, honestly, speak, stay home, save your money. Trust me, once you start staying home, you're going to realize, you know what? I like it here. That was me. Yeah. It was the one day I stayed home and I was like, oh my goodness. Why leave? Ever since then. Why leave? Ever since then. My only issue with staying at home is that, you know, I look like a hobo. You know what I mean? And it's very hard to come out of that hobo state. No, like I look <laughs> as a civilian. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I look bad. <laughs> I literally always just wear oversized t-shirts. Me That's too. It. Me too. That's it. That's why you and I are sisters. Yeah. yeah oversized t-shirts. And you know, if... if if I had the the hairs, you know, it'd be like a messy bun and like exactly. the glasses. And then it was like, oh, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm not even book. trying. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have quite the show for you today. So we will be right back to cue some more interesting segments right after the break. Neopaints has established a 67-year Namibian legacy, creating personalized paint solutions that blend quality and innovation for the Namibian people. We pride ourselves in being a 100% Namibian-owned company, investing in our country and our people by employing and empowering true Namibians. With every brush stroke, Neo Paints commits to our quality guarantee and always delivering a coat of excellence. At Neo Paints, we always stay true to our country. We are as Namibian as you. Now, it isn't smell the coffee if we don't plug you guys with the coolest coffee spots that you can have a coffee with. Now, Yolanda now talks to Nicolas van der Merve about the newest coffee shop that opened in Ventuk. Let's take a look. Yeah, I'll try to do it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Nicolas van der Merve and we are at the new kid on the block. Yes. A new coffee shop situated in Marua Mall. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the coffee shop. All right, so it's actually been in the making for three years oh. because we've really been uh, hassling if it's going to be good or not, if it's going to be worth it, if we're going to get the appropriate suppliers to make this work. So there's been a lot of trial and error going through the whole right. process to decide if it's actually going to be worth it. But at the end of the day, I think um, there's a lot of people that would actually appreciate something like this. It's actually there's a lot of international companies similar to this. Oh wow! Yeah, but we're a little bit more highly higher priced okay. because of our um, economy that's a little bit unstable. So it's a little bit you don't you can't really trust if the suppliers' prices are going to stay the same. The so, same, yeah. Yeah, that's basically. So it. you have a very unique yeah. initiative where everything is priced. The same. Yes, basically. <laughs> so quickly tell us about that. Yeah, so basically everything on the menu is twenty dollars. Yeah. So um, what we wanted to do is basically a lot of people uh, go out. They go out of the house, and you know there's consumerism everywhere, literally. And um, yeah, so we just wanted to make it a little bit more accessible and affordable for a lot of people. Whether they usually they would come out uh, two days a week, for instance, now it could basically be almost affordable every day for yeah. people. So, 
Yeah, that's basically the idea that we wanted to do and basically make it, um, yeah, make it very easy for people's pockets. For everyone to, yeah. to be able to, to get a cup of coffee on yeah. the go. Yeah, and it's everything on the menu, we have basically everything from, from pastries, from toasties, oh. yeah, and yeah, a whole barista menu. Okay, so it's not only coffee, you can yeah. actually grab something to eat as well. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> and we're also introducing something new, um, it's called the espresso bar. Okay. Yeah, so it's almost like a mocktail type of idea. Nice. Yeah, so for people that doesn't want milk in their um, ah, coffees, okay. we have something refreshing and cold. It's like espresso and tonic with whatever syrup you oh, like. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. Mm, that sounds interesting. Yes. Now here at the back, I can see people are still working yes. because you only recently opened. Yeah, if we opened on the 26th just to see how the feat is okay. going to go. But our official opening is on the 1st of February. Okay, and, and how, how was the first week so far? It was good. We, have a, we had amazing responses online. So that's pretty great. Um, people are very excited to see what, what are, what's worth $20. Yes. What are they actually getting for $20? Because <laughs> a lot of people think it's compromised. There's, uh, yeah, there should be something, uh, uh, you know, a loophole in this situation. But it's, it's pretty much a normal barista machine. Okay. We got it um, from um, a previously, um, what is it, a rundown coffee shop. So a lot of the things are sponsored, but okay, it's a wow. it's a real co uh, coffee machine with a temp mat, and the coffee's being grinded and e extracted like a normal coffee machine. Okay. Like a coffee barista does. Well, I yeah. am enjoying a cappuccino, and it yeah. is it is pretty good. So yeah. so it's it's good I for on the are. go, but you also have a couple of seats so people can also enjoy just sitting here and enjoying their coffee. Yes, of course, because we want to actually. Um, create a space for students as well because okay. actually a lot of yeah. students here and then um, it's actually good for their budget as well yes. so we're gonna have we have some free Wi-Fi here that's amazing um, yeah, yeah so we it's the password is being generated every day but um, right. you can always request for it at the at the there at the toll yeah and um, yeah and do some work here or for any any per people that want to come here for lunch or yeah. You know, uh, because a lot of business people sit at coffee shops nowadays yeah. and they, you know, they, they just want to sit yeah. and they, they want to enjoy a cup of coffee, mm. you know, without breaking their budget. So we are in the mall, like we, like we said. Yes. Um, can you quickly tell us opening hours? Yeah, so we're open from 9 to 7 during the week. Okay, wow. Um, possibly we're pushing for 8.30 in the morning already. Okay. Yeah, and then um, if everything goes well, we might even take it to swap or oh, wherever else yeah because yeah, okay, there's a right. lot of requests for bringing pushing it there but yeah. then took helps for the initial funds exactly yeah. <laughs> so. Niklas, thank you so so much for your time thank you and good luck with your journey ahead thank you so much okay. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen sit still we will be right back after this break Now this weekend is the Indie Music Festival and we speak to one of the bands performing. Have a look. We are talking to a band that is going to perform at this week's music festival. Can you kindly introduce yourself? Hi, we are Amberscape. We're your friendly neighborhood punk rock band. Say it with a bit more gusto. Come on. We're your friendly neighborhood punk rock band. And what you can expect from us there's a little bit of rock, there's a little bit of pop, and mostly a lot of riot. So it's going to be a fun time. We hope so, at least. How did you all meet and how did you decide to form the band? Well, yeah, it started about like, what was it, two years ago-ish? We wanted uh, to start a like... Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, Two years. Yeah, I can Mario vote on that. No, I'm done. Yeah, so it started like about two years ago with me and Mario wanting to do something that's like pop punkish. Then we eventually found our Modi, and then we found these two. So I brought him here. Yeah. If I'm <laughs> yeah, that's basically how we found. Yeah. So what are you looking forward to this weekend? Hmm. Uh, this weekend we're looking forward to the first gig of the year. 
because last year we couldn't play at um, Good Riddance, so um, we're kind of making up for that. But yeah, it's going to be a big event, and we're quite us. excited. Yeah, hopefully you'll see us this year at Good Riddance if there's going to be one, which it probably will be. And also look forward to maybe an original drop somewhere yeah. this year. Just likely, likely. Yeah. 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 Can you quickly explain who does what in the band? Okay, well, I'm the drummer. Uh, this doofus with the long hair, I'm joking. I love you very much. <laughs> <laughs> um, bassist, guitarist, also guitarist, vocalist. And you also have some side hustles. One of you plays cricket for the under 19 cricket team. Uh, yeah, on s how do you, our very how do you own few. I didn't actually make team, but I came, I would say I came cl quite close. It's definitely a struggle to juggle everything, as um, when I come here I'm usually very tired as well, but I manage somehow, so <laughs> make it work. <laughs> and where did your passion for music come from? Yo, <laughs> that's... <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's um, Music has always just been there. It's always been um, an escape. Whenever you're feeling down or very excited, then you listen to music. I mean, it's basically just my life. <laughs> For those that don't know, where can you get tickets for this weekend's event? Uh, they, still, they told us any pick and pay and also on web tickets. Yeah, so webtickets.com.na and any pick and pay near you, they do sell physical tickets there as well. Yes. Okay, guys, thank you so much and all the best for this weekend. Awesome, thank you very much. Uh, nice. We look forward to seeing all of you there. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. E-Ticket, your online ticket solution for events and event marketing, bringing you ease of mind and making sure that your event gets out there. contact events at nmh.com.na It's now time to take a look at the world of sports. Yes, we have Robert Shimushili, president of the NFA. You're here to welcome the Brave Warriors back. So um, just tell us how are you feeling about um, wel welcoming them and also of course their performances at AFCON? The excitement is very high. Not necessarily only to us, those who are in leadership, to all Namibia. The national team is a team belong to the entire nation. Not necessarily only to the association, or to individual, or to government. It's for all of us. The excitement which we have is equivalent to the excitement which you guys have. Namibia, to reach second round in AFCON is an achievement. It's a history made. As a result, we have no other ways rather to appreciate the boys. And we have to support them on the pitch and off the pitch. They did a great job. Many Namibians, even us, those in leadership, we were surprised to see many Namibians come out in numbers to support the boys. Some they happen you to use their own resources to go Ivory Coast. We appreciate them. Some they did sponsorship, especially those uh, PST bed. They sponsor the kitty, which have a national flag. It's a great thing. Come here to the country, it's even worse. Everybody buy the TV to watch the boys. Town council, municipality, city of Venduk, other local authorities, they come out to give the big screen, to give opportunity for the Namibian nation to watch their boys. They did so. It's really something which one needs to appreciate. We appreciate them and we want us to continue to ensure that come the second edition, uh, the second, I mean the next AFCON, Namibia will reach the final. Nothing is impossible. We see how skillful our boys to beat Tunisia. It's not an easy thing. Tunisia is a bigger team, it's a developed team, which have most of their players playing in Europe. Come to Mari, 
Stephen West. And those were the great achievements which we show, which our boys show to us that they can able to do. What do we need to do? Only to ensure that we get an opportunity to prepare the incoming to replace those who are close to retirement age. Some of them are closer. They will not play to the next edition of the cup. What are we doing? We have to prepare them. To give, prepare them by giving them opportunities, like we don't have a stadium here in the country, what we can do? We are calling upon the local authority once again to come on board. Better than the way how they come now to allocate land so that we can make it, I mean, construct a stadium there. And also offices where we have to administer and manage football affair so that we can grow. The more we look after our youth, grassroots, I can tell you Namibia will be a better team, especially here to Southern Africa, other than if not worldwide. There's nothing impossible. Great, and now we've got this football fever in the country. Um, locally, you mentioned a few things you want to improve upon, but maybe how can we maintain that fever, would you say, in the local game? What we need to do, we need to ensure those of us in leadership, not to disappointing the football lovers. A lot of disappointment in terms of the way how we manage food and administer the football affair. We need to ensure that we do it proper. We to the expectation of the masses, we, we, to our stakeholders, sponsors, um, our government, which is a key stakeholders in this matter, and also general public to have a trust and faith in the leadership, so that they can be our supporter number one in terms of what we are doing and also to our boys and girls those who are showing their case we have to do that especially to make sure that we have a platform where we can give to our young boys and girls to show their case by doing so football development is a key because we are looking after the future not the current the current one is a past we are looking to tomorrow tomorrow we can prepare However, how to prepare? Only if we can do it together, including you, the media. You have to come on board. Your idea, your views, your suggestion, your opinion is more than welcome so that we can take football forward in the sport in general. Not only necessarily to write the criticize and all that. No, we love you. We give you opportunity so that you can come and spread the message. For argument's sake, we need a different type of support. Either financial support or material support or otherwise. Only you who can able to deliver the message to all the corner of the group. How you can do it? Hello and welcome to today's Sports Rep Show. I am your host, Jesse Jackson Kauraika. Replay Namibia, who had won the toss for the first time on this tour. Good day, everyone. Time for international sports news, starting off with tennis news, both on the WTA for women's and. The social calendar is filling up fast and if you don't know how to keep yourself entertained, fear not, we have you covered here on Smile the Coffee with our Weekend Vibe. Three, two, one. Here we go. It's the month of love and things are starting to pick up on the entertainment front. On Friday at 3, there's a Valentine's night market at Drumbos in Vintok until 9. Entrance is $20 for persons 13 and up, $10 for children under 13 and kiddies under 5 or free. As from 7, Kippy's Dance Bar hosts their first birthday bash with Just Jack performing. The revelry continues on Saturday with free shopping with Kalfi from noon and JYED from 4 o'clock. Entrance will set you back $50. Also at 7 and in this month's edition of Night Under the Stars at the Goethe Institute in Vintuk, the featured artist is Naja. Tickets are 50 bucks. On Saturday at 8, there's a farmer's market at the Vintage Showgrounds at Pool 1. Entrance is $5 for adults while children and pensioners are for free. 
As from 10, the Indie Music Fest takes place at the rare Smoky Mayor in the capital, featuring a stellar lineup of local musicians. Tickets are $200 in advance via web tickets and $300 at the gates. For those who haven't done so yet, Fleeting Moments, an exhibition by South Africa's Lisa Mayer, can be viewed at the Fine Art Gallery in Stockholmund until the 16th of February, while the Franco-Namibian Cultural Centre hosts an online French film festival until the 19th. For more info on this, check out myfrenchfilmfestival.com. In the meantime, enjoy! Welcome to My.NA Cars, your ultimate destination for everything automotive. I am your host, Diana Master. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? Discover the latest models, innovative technologies, and expert insights from our passionate hosts. Learn essential maintenance tips and get exclusive behind the scenes access to the automotive industry. Don't miss My.NA Cars on NTV every Thursday at 2100 hours. Tune in and ignite your passion for automobiles. Now it is World Cancer Day on Sunday and the team in the South is be busy rather. Rolf Hansen talks to us about the upcoming roadshow. Let's take a look. The National Cancer Outreach Program of the Cancer Association is up and running and in full swing and we are traveling through the Heart Up region uh, the first week of February. So yeah, please people, community members of Rio Bos, Stamperit, Aranos, Kochas, please check out our social media posts and please check out the media and please visit the local Ministry of Health and Social Services clinic to find out the exact days that the Cancer Association will be in your towns in the Heart Up region. This program is proudly supported by the annual Cancer Apple Project with the support of our media, Bank Vintuk and stakeholders who make it possible Every apple helps save a life and therefore we truly ask you when it's time for the Apple project later in the year, please do support so we can continue providing these free community screenings for our vulnerable rural communities. Neopaints has established a 67-year Namibian legacy, creating personalized paint solutions that blend quality and innovation for the Namibian people. We pride ourselves in being a 100% Namibian-owned company, investing in our country and our people by employing and empowering true Namibians. With every brush stroke, Neo Paints commits to our quality guarantee and always delivering a coat of excellence. At Neo Paints, we always stay true to our country. We are as Namibian as you. Well, it's absolutely important that everyone go for their checkups, their medical checkups, because you never know what could be, what you could be harboring. Exactly, yeah. and, and it's also very important for them to detect it early. Yes. You have something. You early know. detection saves lives. Exactly. Yeah. I know you. You mentioned that you have, you you go regularly for black like pap smear. Oh, well, not regularly. I've, I've I've done my pap smear already. I did it in 2022, mm -hmm. but it's after every two years. I didn't even know that, that it's after every two yeah, years. Yeah, it's after every two years. And like, honestly speaking, the experience itself is a bit intimidating. Because yes. you see the gadgets and the gizmos and you're like, oh my goodness. But then it's actually not bad at all. And again, like we said, early detection saves lives. So not just for women, even for men as well. There was a time we had Rolf Hansen in studio yes. talking about how men also are susceptible to all these kinds of cancers, but they don't think that it can be them. Exactly. Um, I think I also did a story with him as yeah. well on that. Like um, there's a lot of, not a lot of awareness yeah. with men. Like there's even breast cancer in men. In men, exactly. So I think definitely please do go for your checkups. Most of the time, just keep an eye out, especially with the Ministry of Health. They do always have these um, basically free, you know, testing sites. So just keep your eye out and just go for a checkup. It can save your life. But that's all the time we have for you today on Smell the Coffee from Diana Master and Gwena Rashipura. We do hope you have yourselves an amazing, fantastic weekend. <laughs>